Welcome to this uh, Easy Computer Fixes channel and this is a quick video to talk about one of the things that will happen as we are now in 2019, January 2019. Well, one of the things that happens is that you are a year away, if you're using Windows 7, you're a year away from end of support on your computer. What does that mean exactly? Well, that, first of all, doesn't mean your Windows PC is going to stop working in January 2020. It simply means it won't have security updates anymore. And so by not having security updates, you will be more vulnerable to security flaws on the web. So it will be easier to get malware, for example. So if you're running Windows 7, what are the possibilities? Well, the first one is if your PC is older than maybe seven or eight years, I think it's time to move on and say, well, okay, I need to think about what um, move, what's the next move for me in my computer. Because an older than eight year PC will po possibly not run Windows 10 or not run it really well. And um, so it might be a, a time to start thinking, well, maybe I should buy something a little more recent in computers. If your PC is less than seven year old, then there's a good chance it can run Windows 10 probably. That means you can extend its life by just upgrading. And the good news is that of, as of now, January 2019, you can still upgrade for free to Windows 10 using an existing Windows 7 key. So if you have Windows 7, on the box or under your laptop or if it's a custom PC you should have a Windows 7 disk there's a product key. Well you can actually go upgrade to Windows 10 and enter the product key that you have there and uh, chances are you're going to upgrade to Windows 10 for free. So this is one loophole that Microsoft left open. Sometimes I'm wondering if it's not intentional that they do so. Um, you know, we can't guarantee it's going to work forever, but for now it does, so why not do it? Uh, maybe use that product key. Have somebody that knows a little bit more about computers and has that have that person upgrade your PC from Windows 7 to Windows 10. That could be an interesting idea. If you, um, <coughs> of course, continue using Windows 7 after January 2020, one of the things that will mitigate or help you stay safe a little longer would be to use Google Chrome. Of course, Google Chrome or Firefox, these are going to probably support Windows 7 for a little while after it is officially um, you know, um, out of its cycle. Just like they did with Windows XP, they continued issuing Google Chrome browsers uh, updates even after Windows XP was retired until it was really, really too low of a market share. So that would, of course, keep you safe in some way because you'd use a browser that stays safe and actually prevents your PC from being infected. But you definitely need to move away from Internet Explorer if that's what you're using. That's very, very important. And um, last but not least, if you don't wish to move to Windows 10, what you could try, a Linux distro is not a bad idea also. Why not turn your Windows 7 machine into a Linux machine? Uh, with Linux Mint or Ubuntu or any Linux distros out there that might actually give nice, you know, new feel to your PC. And, uh, of course, by having one of the latest distros, it would keep you safe. Uh, so these are a few ideas, a few things it can do. Um, and, you know, don't panic. You still have a year. And if you, even if you do it last minute, it doesn't matter. Uh, the only one is if you try the upgrade for free with the Windows 10 operating system using a Windows 7 key. That's where I would probably just say one thing. Uh, make sure that you maybe do it as soon as possible because you never know. Microsoft might actually close that loophole at some point. We don't know. And we can't guarantee it's going to be there and work all the time. But for now it does, still as of January 2019. If you enjoyed my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.